Hey guys, Austin back with the East Starling. I'm going to get you or show you another trade order that we just got in right off the truck. Let's go ahead and crack this open, show you what's inside. Hope it's something good. <laughs> As you guys know, we do this on a pretty regular basis, and uh, we can get some uh, interesting things in here. So let's see what we've got. We got some good packaging for starters. Nice big bubble wrap, the good stuff. The kind you annoy all your friends with. <laughs> Check this out. We got uh, a good little variety of stuff, sort of. Uh, N64 and Super Nintendo games. These are all complete, they look to be, and they're all in very good condition um, from what I can tell so far. Well, let's start off with some of the common stuff. We got uh, 1080 snowboarding for the N64. This was a very popular snowboarding game, uh, very good as well. We got South Park, the first person shooter based on the, the TV series. Also another very common one. We got Wave Race 64, the excellent racer uh, with the awesome water effects. Check that out. It's brand new sealed. Even though it's the re-released version, still it's sealed. You don't see that very often these days. Uh, we've got the excellent PC port of Quake, Quake 64 for the Nintendo 64. Awesome version of this game if uh, you're a fan of Quake. Good old fashioned first person shooter style gameplay. You don't see that too often these days. Uh, we've got uh, Mischief Makers by Treasure. Awesome platformer, very good, highly recommended if you haven't played it. We've got the uh, excellent port of Resident Evil 2 on the Nintendo 64. Surprisingly, this one retains all the full motion video from the PlayStation game, which is a uh, uh, technological... Uh, uh, never mind, I'm just mumbling. <laughs> Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64. You guys know all about this. Don't need to talk too much about that. And uh, let's get on to some of these Super Nintendo games we got in here. I'm going to save the best for last. What that is, you're going to have to guess. First, we're going to start off with Wizard of Oz. It's like a side-scrolling platform. I actually have not personally played this one myself. It actually doesn't look half bad. The box is in very good condition, too. And it's published by SATA. Next up is the side-scrolling platformer Plock for the Super Nintendo. I remember seeing this one in Nintendo Power back in the day, published by Trade West. I'm not around anymore, but uh, they published some good games back in the day, and Pock is a pretty cool side scrolling platformer. Not too expensive either, if you're looking for something unique. But getting on to the good stuff, my favorite part of this, we got Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for the Super Nintendo. Boxed, immaculate, and everything. Should have everything with it as well. Feels nice and heavy. Excellent, excellent condition. Whoever had these, I really don't know why you traded these in, but uh, now someone else can buy them. <laughs> we got Illusion of Gaia, another excellent action RPG for the Super Nintendo. Box is also immaculate. I have a hunch here, too. Uh, and. Was right. It even has the map with it, which you very rarely see included with these. And uh, oh, I'm stolen, stolen. Check this out. Still has the plastic wrap on it and the dust cover. It looks immaculate, as if no one had ever even taken it out. Very nice. Whoever whoever had this and sent this in. You're going to make someone's day, that's for sure. <laughs> Save the best for last. Secret of Mana. Mana, however you'd like to pronounce it. Also in immaculate condition. And uh, to my understanding, I think this one has everything with it as well. First, we're going to take a look at that nice cartridge. The wrap and dust cover and everything looks excellent. And check this out.
It even has the poster slash map, which is also kind of tough to come by. And when you see copies, oh, sorry, of this game floating around, you don't usually see the maps included with it. Um, that's the case for most of the square role-playing games at Super Nintendo. But uh, uh, one last thing I wanted to note is uh, whoever sent this in ha did a really good job in the packing. He used really big bubble wrap, which I already mentioned. He had it layered, patterned on the bottom, patterned on all sides. The games are nice and snug. There is bubble wrap on top. So if you guys are thinking about trading things in, keep in mind that's uh, a great way to package your stuff and make sure it arrives safely uh, and in one piece. That's the most important part. Uh, we don't want to have to deduct because your, all your cases got cracked in transit. So keep this in mind. This is a uh, good job, whoever you were. But uh, anyways, guys, that's about it. Austin with East Starland. Uh, we'll catch you soon with another trade in order. Take it easy.